And when you look back over 10 years and you look at where we are, uh, doesn't it strike you that the Iraq war was at the very least an enormously costly, costly distraction, a, a trillion dollars at the least, thousands of lives, and it's not clear that it, if you list, look at all the things you listed as the reasons why we are succeeding, it, it, it doesn't seem to have been crucial. Um, I, I think the world's a, certainly a better place with Saddam Hussein gone. But that's not the question. The question is, was it central to the war on terror? Um, there's no question but that al-Qaeda and, and Zarqawi and people were, were in uh, um, Iraq. They, they aggregated there and they collaborated. Largely after we invaded. Yeah, exactly. So, right. So that, Exactly. But, but that, if we hadn't invaded, they wouldn't have been there. So that, that, We that don't know that. We, well, we, you don't know. Well, I don't know that. But they went in to fight us. So since if we weren't there, why would they have gone into Iraq? I mean, well, why have like they gone into Yemen? Why have they gone into Somalia? Why, have, why do the Al-Qaeda go anywhere? They go where, where it's hospitable. Right, and Iraq hadn't been hospitable. I mean, well, Saddam Hussein had not been there. Zarqawi had been there. Back at history, mm -hmm. you've, got to, you've got to think in your heart of hearts that if you, if you could do it over again, this was a wild distraction. Really, it's been costly. There's no question about that. And, and Without much benefit. Look at Iraq today. I mean, large, you know, Iran is able to influence its foreign policy. It's cozying up to Syria even as Assad is, is butchering his people. Mm -hmm. Is this what you had hoped for? Of course not. One would hope that, that uh, things would turn out perfectly, but in life they, they rarely do. There, I think the world is better off having uh, a, a, the Iraqi people, an important country, uh, with a constitution they drafted, uh, with a government that's respectful of the various diverse elements in that country. Uh, is it perfect? No. Are people still going to be killing each other from time to time in that part of the world? You bet. Uh, and and uh, uh, Perfect? No. Are people still going to be killing each other from time to time in that part of the world? You bet. Uh, and and uh, I think uh, a, a situation that is better today than it was then. I think uh, a, a situation that is better today than it was then. Uh, you know, everything in life is a cost-benefit analysis. You can't pretend otherwise. Mm -hmm. And at some point, the costs overwhelm any potential benefits. And it just seems as though in terms of the, the energy we have devoted, uh, if you look back uh, and what we got out of it, it's tough to make the case. There, there are unintended benefits and unintended consequences as well. But I mean, the fact that that um, Gaddafi watched Saddam Hussein come up out of that hole uh, and made a conscious decision he would give up his nuclear program and called in the West to dismantle it um, was a good thing. That was an unintended benefit. Exactly. But, but let me ask you, because you start. Let me make a comment about 9/11 yeah. and today. Today, with a debt crisis and a deficit crisis, we're about ready to make the same mistake we've made after World War II, after Vietnam and Korea, and then after the Cold War. Pare down our intelligence, cut the budgets in the Defense Department, and think we can get away with it. We got away with it in earlier years. And if we do what, what it looks like the Congress is going to do, think they can balance the budget off the Pentagon, I think it will be a, a tragic mistake for the country. We, we're still spending more than the rest of the world put together. Uh, we're still spending six to eight times more than China. Would you rather Isn't have it? Somalia spend more or no, Sudan? No, but my or, point or, is there's room for, there's room. You, you ran the, the budget up so, so high that there's, there's room to come down without...